BMW opens up the M Parts catalog for 3 and 5 Series owners. More Toyotas will be built in North America, a safety supplier promotes wearing an extra seat belt, and will give you a closer look at the Red Jacket Jeep from Sons of Guns TV show. I'm Ken, getting your week off to a fast start with a Monday edition of Auto Week TV. Here's the news. BMW has opened up its M Performance Parts Catalog to the new 3 and 5 Series. The parts will let you make upgrades to the chassis, brakes, and exhaust of the 2012 3 Series, as well as the 2011 and 2012 5 Series. Unfortunately, none of the parts will make your BMW go faster, but at least the car will look the part. Automotive News reports that Toyota will slash the number of cars it imports from Japan. The move scales back Toyota's strategy of bridge manufacturing, where it builds cars such as the Camry here and in Japan, and uses imports to help meet sales demand. However, the current yen dollar exchange rate makes Japanese built cars much less profitable here. So, Toyota is gearing up its North American factories to meet demand here and possibly export vehicles to other markets. Auto safety supplier Autolift says car passengers can be even safer if they wear an extra seat belt. Autolift has developed a two-point belt that is added on to the three-point seat belt used today. This gives you a setup similar to the five-point harness used by racing drivers. The belt was launched on the two-seat Renault Twizy electric car. That's our news for today, but before you go, check out West Coast editor Mark Vaughn's report on the testosterone overload known as Red Jacket Jeep. We'll be back tomorrow, and remember, enjoy the drive. The cable TV show Sons of Guns is all about the guys and girl at Red Jacket Firearms. When it comes to shooting, they have, or can make, just about anything. But they didn't have a Jeep. That is, until V-Works made them a Jeep. VWorks is a wholly owned subsidiary of OEM supplier Ventures. Among other things, Ventures makes lots and lots of Mopar stuff. VWorks took this four-door Jeep Wrangler Rubicon and threw everything at it but the kitchen sink. We wouldn't be surprised if there's a kitchen sink on it somewhere. This is a 2012 uh, JK. It's the new Pentastar V6. We were actually one of the first ones in the industry to develop a lift kit for the 2012. Uh, Pentastar package, uh, and this is a JK8 conversion, so it started its life as a Rubicon four-door JK and was converted to the pickup truck. We put a four-inch lift, our four-inch lift, with a one-inch body lift on it. It's got 40-inch crawler tires. Um, it's got the uh, full JK8 conversion package. We actually stretched this one six inches to, uh, it, we offer a number of custom packages on top of the Mopar package. Uh, we updated uh, a lot of the internal uh, driveline components to take the 40-inch tires. It's got upgraded brakes, it's got the big brake kit, it's got the oversized master cylinder. This is, uh, uh, we run internals from, uh, from Dynatrack. Uh, Jim McGean provided a lot of the internals for this. It runs 538 gears. And, you know, we feature a lot of our components on there. We've got our rock rails, our fenders, uh, our front and rear bumpers, and, and our new uh, uh, cowl induction hood. The whole thing, as you see it here, complete with every single item ever put into a parts catalog, cost $115,000, which is more than you or I might want to spend. But V-Works has packages for every budget. You can probably get a V-Works shifter knob pretty cheap, we would imagine. The good thing is that it's all functional. It's not often you get to drive a SEMA show car, and even less often that one works as advertised. We took this one down some pretty steep stuff, then up some pretty steep stuff. In four-wheel low, it crawled up and down anything we put in its path. Since this is the Red Jacket Jeep, and since Red Jacket makes guns, we really needed a gun. But since this was a SEMA show vehicle, it couldn't really be a lethal gun. Yes, that's a t-shirt gun. It shoots t-shirts, the kind they use at sporting events to keep the fans entertained when there's nothing going on. The darn thing fires them pretty far, too. It's so easy to use, even the V-Works PR girl could shoot it. Better than us. Just about any Jeep is going to be fun off-road. You already knew that, but with a little customization, you can have a Jeep like no one else is on the road or on the trail. 
Catch all the latest auto enthusiast news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek magazine and iPad edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.